What's good, YouTube? And Cray Cray Gang. It's your, it's your, it's your brother's Cray, the building man, coming at you with another late video, man. Today, I got a banger for you guys. I got a story time, man. I'm going to be telling you guys the time I was EMS. If you guys do not know what EMS is, it's basically when you are put in handcuffs and sent to the hospital. You feel me? Now, this is something that happened in middle school. I mean, this happened to me like in elementary school. I was like in what grade? I was like in like, what, sixth grade? You feel me? And yeah, that's something that they just did. Cause all you guys already know, like I said, I went to special ed for some time. If you guys have not seen my story time where I told you guys about the story time when I went to special ed, you feel me? Make sure you guys go check that out. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not slow. No, I'm not dumb. You feel me? They put me in there. They they basically lied on me. They put me in there for no reason. They lied on me. You feel me? And they realized I was smart. Unfortunately, it took a couple years for them to realize I don't belong in there. But they finally realized and they sent me back to general education, back to my regular classes, regular environment. You feel me? Like I said, if you guys did not check out that special ed story time, go check it out so you guys could pretty much see where I'm coming from. Cause I'm not going to explain all of that in this story time you feel me now this story time what I'm gonna be telling you guys once again how I was EMS basically sent to a cuckoo house you feel me before we get into this video smash the like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload I got a reaction channel link will be down in the description everybody go over there and subscribe right now hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload I upload three reactions on that channel every other day five Go check it out, you feel me? Alright, so this happened when I was like in the 6th grade, man. I was in uh, PS168, you feel me? This was when I was in special ed, you know what I'm saying? Special ed, it's like a special ed tactic. This things they do to special ed people, man, you feel me? Because basically when you're in special ed, that means you have issues, man. And they treat you accordingly. They treat you like your top line dumb, you feel me? They treat you, they ain't gonna show you. I'm in school, right? One thing about me, I got in hella fights. I don't know why, but niggas always tried me. They always tried me, and I don't know why. Niggas always tried me, man, because I was like a little skinny kid or something like that, but I wasn't pussy, you feel me? I always gave the hair, always threw, I always gave it up, you feel me? I wasn't no pussy nigga, so I don't know why niggas tried to play with me for, you feel me? Like, I'm some type of bitch, like, I beat wild niggas up in, in the school, you feel me? I beat, beat up some tall niggas, like I said, that's another story time I got. Like, bro, I put in the work, and I don't know why niggas tried to play me, like, I'm like, I'm a bitch, but there's this dude named Christopher, and the crazy thing is, me and this nigga was friends, like, he was one of, he was one of my best friends in this school, you feel me? But you know how sometimes you have a best friend, and y'all still be fighting, like, I still get into problems like y'all still get into issues like i could like i was like what the well, how me you supposed to be bros and me over here fighting but i forgot what it was i forgot what caused the fight but me and him, we got into it i forgot what it was but we got into it me and him start shaking in the classroom we fighting boo 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 i ain't gonna lie he getting some good hits on me i'm getting some good hits on him i ain't gonna lie i won though i won though i beat his ass you feel me and one thing about me when i get mad bro i stay mad like even after the fight i still got that adrenaline i still got that anger i stay mad so me and christopher we shaking i forgot what happened but me and him, we going at it we throwing the hands you feel me i'm beating the shit out of him you feel me? The teacher come, Mr. Dog. His name is Mr. Dog. This is the one I used to hit me too. Go check out that story time. My teachers hit me. This same teacher, they used to always hit me. You feel me? So we fighting. He comes. He breaks up the fight. Like I said, right? He separates us. Mind you, like I said, I have a temper problem. So even after he breaks us up, I'm still mad. Like the adrenaline, I still want to fight. I'm still trying to go after the Christopher. I'm still trying to knock this nigga out. Mr. Dog takes me. He throw me like in a corner. Like, stay here. He's like, stop. Stop. Stay here. Stop. Stop. And I'm still sitting there going. He like, stop. I said, stop. I said, stop. You feel me? So he got me in the corner and shit. You feel me? He said, if I have to come over here again, I'm going to EMS you. Relax or I'm going to EMS you. You feel me? So I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm still mad. But I calmed down a little bit. You feel me? So he go. He walk back to his desk. He sits down. And I begin again trying to rock with Christopher. I'm going to curse at him, call him words, trying to rock with him again. You feel me? So Mr. Dogger... So me and Christopher still going at it, you feel me? Mr. Dog get up again, come to me again, like, you know what? I said, stop. And I'm sitting there like, get off me, baby. You can touch me. I'm like, get the fuck with me. Who you think going? All right, get off me. Get off me. And that's so he grabbed me. He slammed me on the floor. Boom. He like, all right, that's it. You get EMS. So he slammed me on the floor, like, on my stomach. He like this. Like, boom. So I'm on the floor like this. He put my hand behind my back like this. He got his knee on my back like that. I'm like, ah, get off me. Get off me. He's like, get EMS. You get EMS. And so he's sitting there. He on his walkie-talkie. He on his walkie-talkie, calling the principal, calling the dean. The dean is security. He's in there calling him like, "Oh, um, we need assistance in this classroom. We need um EMS. Like call EMS. That's not one one. EMS is like the ambulance. They come with the cops and all that. So he's in there calling him." Mind you, he like 250 pounds. I'm like a skinny 80 pound kid. He on my back the whole time. I'm like, get off me, get off me. He just sitting there. We there for like at least. 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes until the until the freaking EMS people come in the police. So I was in that position for like 20 minutes and he would not get off me. He was just holding me down, holding me down. Bro, I'm like, yo, bro. 15, 20 minutes passed. The 
classroom was packed. I ain't gonna cap. I had the, the, the place lit, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. We had the principal there. We had the dean there. The police came and EMS came. So I was there on the floor 15, 20 minutes. Once the police came and the ambulance came, then he got off of me. I got up and the police told me that, listen, you better relax. You better relax. Put your hands behind your back. You get a handcuffed. Just like that. Well, they didn't put it behind my back. They put it in the front. My hands in the front. So that was my first time ever being handcuffed. They put my hands in the front. They handcuffed me. They handcuffed me. I'm like, damn, bro, this shit crazy. They called my mom. They told my mom she need she need to meet me at the hospital. They told her the hospital I was going to. They told her to meet me there and shit. Bro, the shit was scared. I thought I was going to go to jail. You feel me? They put me in the handcuffs. They take me out the classroom. They walk me to the ambulance. I feel mad, crazy. I feel dumb. So I get outside. The ambulance is there. I hop in the ambulance, the back of the ambulance. That's my first time ever being in the ambulance. That shit was crazy. So I'm in the ambulance. I'm like this with the handcuffs on, bro. I feel like a whole criminal. Everybody looking at me while I'm leaving the school. You see everybody staring at me, all the students and all that shit. It was mad embarrassing, bro. So I'm in the ambulance. Boom, they drive me. They drive me. They drive me to the hospital. I get out the hospital. I mean, I get out the ambulance. I go into the hospital. My teachers is with there, is there with me. Like the teacher came with me in the ambulance. He came with me. Um, yeah, those police with me escort me into the hospital. So I get to the hospital. They tell me like, oh, take my clothes off. They gave me a gown. They like go in the bathroom, change into this gown. Bro, I felt crazy, man. You feel me? Anyway, I changed into the gown. That joint like had some, had some of my ass showing. No cap. They didn't even have the full back cover. Show some of my ass and all that shit. I felt the breeze on my ass and shit. Come out. I'm in the gown walking. You just see mad people with issues. It all in there. Like they literally sent me to a cuckoo house for a fucking fight. Really? So anyway, I'm there. I ain't gonna lie, I was type lit though. They had the TV there. I was sitting there watching TV. They was giving me food. The hospitals be giving some lit ass food. They gave me some lit food. I was in there watching TV. They had the game. All that. I was just sitting there chilling. So my mom comes to the hospital and she's like, oh Elijah, what happened? And all I'm telling like, oh, they EMS me. They EMS me for a fight. You feel me, mom? Like they EMS you for a fight. I'm like, yeah. You feel me? And and that's pretty much what happened, bro. Yeah, I was EMS, sixth grade, for a fight. They sent me to the hospital, you feel me? Handcuffed me, put me in a nightgown, all that. You feel me? That's what happened. You feel me? And they was trying to push it. They was trying to say, like, oh, we feel like he need to be on medication. Like, he like he's be, he be buggy, he need to be on medication and all that. I think I spent the night in the hospital, too. They had me, like, there overnight. Spent the night and all that. And uh, yeah, they tried to put me on medication, but they didn't. They like told, they asked me, it's like, are you going to calm down? Do we need to put you on medication? Because if you don't calm down, if you come back here, we're going to have to put you on medication. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to come back. I, like, y'all don't got to take it there. I'm not going to come back here again. It's like, okay. And they never put me on medication. And yeah, that was the time your boy was EMS, man. Crazy situation. But that's what happened, bro. That's what happened. They sitting there handcuffing me. Sending me to a hospital like some type of weirdo, like an animal. And the teacher should have been the one going to the goddamn jail for hitting me, you feel me? And he lucky that I never told on him, bro. For real. But yeah, that's what happened, man. You feel me? So I hope you guys enjoyed that story time. If you did, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. If you guys have a story similar to this one, if you have you if you guys can relate, let me know in the comment box. I don't know if any of you guys was ever EMS, hit by a teacher or anything like that. Let me know in the comment box, man. You feel me? And with that being said, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace.